Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and jump into the reading. I'm super excited to see what's going on with you guys. Of course, if you want a personal check out the information below, right now we have like 50% off of all sessions until the 25th of this month. So if you want to get a reading, if you ever wanted to get a reading from me, this is the perfect time for you guys to get one um, at a really good price, okay? Uh, another thing, Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat if you want to check out our live streams whenever we go live. And let's go ahead and jump into it. Enjoy. Scorpios, let's go ahead and see what's going on. All right, so we have two cards already out. Uh, so we have the Five of Pentacles. Let me show you really quick. Five of Pentacles in reverse. I also have the King of Cups in reverse. So the first thing that I'm picking up on, harsh truth that you may need to hear at the moment, Scorpios, when it comes to some financial issues you guys may have recently ran into, understand that that financial issue or financial issues you've acquired are only going to get better once you, for one, get out of this energy of feeling like you're lacking something. Yes, you could be going through a brief period where money's just not you know, abundant, but that doesn't mean that that's going to be the forever state of your finances, especially if you're working diligently to not let that be the case per se. Um, so not only that, Spirit is saying that some of you may need to shift out of a poverty mindset that could be keeping your finances at an all time low. This could be spending money on the wrong things or you know, needing to invest in yourself in certain ways and not doing it out of fear. Uh, there's certain financial habits that you guys may have been following that if you were to stop doing those things, then you would see a drastic change in your finances almost immediately, okay? This could even be spending your money on things that more so feed an addiction or feed something that you in the first place shouldn't be doing, all right? Another harsh truth that you guys may be needing to hear when it comes to you welcoming somebody back into your life, you guys need to make sure that you're not welcoming back a situation full of stress, emotional unease, okay? Especially if this person is emotionally unavailable or unable to express themselves in an emotional way where, you know, it, it makes sense or it doesn't come off as angry or, you know, just overly emotional, please be aware of who you let back into your energy, especially if you felt drained or out of it in, in dealing with a situation like this. Okay, let's keep going. Scorpios. So we got the three of coins as well as the five of swords. So when it comes to work, harsh truth that you may be needing to hear if you've been feeling more and more disconnected from your job or even the co-workers that you have this could be because spirit is trying to show you that it's time for you guys to elevate into a new role in terms of career or maybe elevating to a new job that's going to help you make a lot more money especially given your expertise and the hard work that you may put in some of you guys may work a job where you're doing multiple things things that may be even out of your job description and maybe out of your pay rate so it may be time for you guys to elevate here and then also another harsh truth you may be needing to hear If you do have certain co-workers that seemingly are trying to start a drama with you, are trying to co create confusion and whatnot, you do need to do your best to not entertain that because this particular co-worker may not have anything else to do. And they could be just somebody who's struggling with their own mental issues and own problems that they're kind of taking it out on you. So in the end, this person they will realize or let me rephrase that in the end this person they will not prevail in terms of them like coming after you and attacking you especially if this is like a daily thing um but make sure you're not entertaining it either giving this person any leverage 
All right, I have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So yeah, what you also may be needing to hear in terms of the harsh truth, when it comes to you catching somebody in some sort of lie or some sort of dishonesty here, if you're trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt in terms of them not lying again or repeating the same action, excuse me, um, definitely let this person show you who they are before you start just full on, you know, forgiving them and letting them back into your space. Let this person prove to you that they're not coming back with any sneaky or downright deceptive uh, actions here. Okay. So we have making a choice. So Spirit is saying that you guys need to make some sort of choice in your life. The harsh truth is the fact that things have felt a little bit stagnated in your life or may have felt like things were not progressing for you. It has a lot to do with personal choices that you guys have been torn about. Okay, understanding also that certain choices that you guys are going to make over the next couple of months, because I'm even seeing this for the next couple of months, it's going to change the trajectory in which your life is going in. As you can see, these are two different paths, two different dimensions being tapped into. So a harsh truth is the stagnant energy you're experiencing, it, it's because spirit is trying to get you to move and to shift into a new cycle in your life and open new doors as a whole. Okay, and the more you delay some sort of choice here, the more it kind of feels like you're pulling teeth. I also have storm fields here. So interesting with this card coming up, um, the harsh truth is certain like tower moments you could have experienced were literally for spirit to get you to kind of wake up and realize certain things. All right, this is an uncomfortable chaos to get you to move to get you to, like I said, make some sort of crucial choice in your life. But understand that this energy is going to pass. It's not permanent at all, okay? So you guys need to start kind of shifting your energy from being in this like depressive, chaotic energy almost. Spirit is also saying that some of you guys need to release some sort of like pent up anger or energy here. This could help you really get to a place of being at peace. You could be pretty pissed about something and trying to act as if it doesn't bother you as much when all this is doing is creating more of a like a festering situation. Hmm. Let's pull some cards from here. Scorpios. So we have bring it. So Spirit is saying you guys need to step into a space of being determined, persevering, also understanding that in order for you to make it through the challenges you've been experiencing, you're going to have to step up to the plate and be ready to tackle it head on first. Okay, the harsh truth is some of you guys need to get back to you, need to get back into your own energy of being courageous and being able to make it through whatever chaotic energy you guys could be experiencing at the moment. Another harsh truth that I'm seeing here, somebody here is very confrontational and they could be the type to where they're like trying to provoke you as of right now. And if you're not careful, you give into that energy of them provoking you. It could be taken to the wrong um, or taken to a point to where you can't really go back. OK, I didn't know whatever whatever word to use for that or. You guys get what I mean. Anyways, um, I also have, psst, ahem, hey you. So this is a card of spirit trying to get your attention. Okay, there could be certain events, like I said, that could have taken place. So spirit can get you to recognize certain things. Like I'm just mainly getting that 
the truth here is spirit has been doing certain things to get your attention and it's not that your life is falling apart it's falling into place you just need to make certain adjustments so this is what i see i hope that i put things in perspective for you if you did take something from this video definitely thumbs it up and subscribe and i will see you later